Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video I will be talking about modification of leaf. Leaf, first it is modified into leaf spine. Spine is seen in xerophytic plants, that is the desert plants. They modify themselves just to check the rate of transpiration. Since they are desert plant, they cannot lose out water, excess water. So what happens in leaf spine? The stipules gets modified into spine. It gives protection against browsing animals also. Example, Apuntia, Acacia, Zizifus. Now this kind of modification is seen only in those plants where they cannot afford to lose water by transpiration plus they protect their leaves from browsing animals. So here most important point is that the stipule gets modified into spines. An example here in the diagram is of Acacia. The best example for leaf spine is even Opuntia that is cactus. Second is leaf tendril. When we talk about leaf tendril, tendrils are nothing but weak stem plants. It is due to elongated thin cylindrical coiled wiry structure. So if somebody asks what is tendril, you say elongated thin cylindrical coiled wiry structure which helps in coiling. Why such modification is required? The reason is very much simple. The stem is weak. They want to take the support and grow. So they modify themselves into tendrils. But sometimes the entire leaf gets modified into tendrils. So the example here is Lathyrus. As you can see in the diagram, the entire leaf is getting modified into tendrils. Terminal leaf, if the end of the leaf, that is the terminal leaves, if they modify into tendril, the example is pea plant. Sometime not the entire leaf, not the terminal leaf, only the apex of the leaf modifies into tendril. The example is Gloriosa. And if the stipule gets modified into tendrils, then the example is Smilax. So leaf undergoes such kind of modifications just to survive, reproduce and propagate. So this is the second example, leaf tendrils. So remember, first modification was spine to protect from transpiration and browsing animals. Third modification is of leaf hook. The terminal three leaves modifies themselves into hook. Hook means cat nail like structure. It is meant for clinging to the bark of the tree. Example is bignonia. It is cat's nail. Now, in order to take the support of other plant, in order to grow, so the terminal three leaf, they develop some hook-like structure. And these hook-like structures, they help them to grow and move towards the upper part of the plant. Last modification is phyloid. The petiole of the leaf becomes flat, green and leaf-like. So the leaf actually gets reduced and the petiole starts working like the leaf and they perform the function of photosynthesis. Why such modification is required? Only to prevent the loss of water by transpiration because it is seen in xerophytic plants and to protect themselves from browsing animals. Hope friends you have understood the modification of the leaf that is spine, tendril, leaf hook and phyloid. See you in the next video with other part of morphology of flowering plant. Till then, thank you very much.